Alright, today we're going to be looking at how to start a fire using a magnesium fire starter. Uh, essentially what we have here are a $7 magnesium block with a striker on this side that you can actually shoot a spark with using, in this case, a, a basic file. Uh, also we have one that's a little bit more complex, all set together as far as being able to strike and, and throw out some sparks. Uh, with between these three, or this one, we're going to get a fire start. Alright, we're going to be using a white piece of paper just to show you essentially what the, the magnesium looks like when we pull it off. You could certainly use a, a piece of newspaper, any dry piece of paper that you can find around the campsite. But what you'll notice is once I start shaving some of this magnesium off, it's going to land right here. And, and that is going to be our accelerant to get this fire started. Hopefully you can see some of the shavings that are coming off. This magnesium is going to take the spark that we throw and it is actually going to start on fire. Alright, we got some shavings here. What we're going to do is try and get them towards the center of the paper so that once we get some sparks going throw it right into that magnesium and it's going to light right up. Alright, here we have the traditional magnesium striker. We've already taken the magnesium off. The striker end of it here, we'll be using the file to see if we can throw some sparks into the magnesium to get it going. So here we go. You ready? Now what you notice is when we're striking this thing, it doesn't seem like the sparks go much further than the end of it, which is a problem. And we want to make sure that the sparks that we're using are actually flying down into the magnesium to this get it started. A fire starter, <clears throat> fire steel, light my fire, something like that. Uh, it actually has the most important part of this is this little piece of metal. The way that it's formed is actually going to catch the groove here. If you look back at this one, you'll see the exact same thing. Okay, as far as the round piece, but this one has a lot more strikes in it that we'll be able to get out of it. Um, but we're going to throw a spark. It's actually going to go right into here. And we're going to see something light up. We have some air pocket, kind of lifted it up a bit so that we can get some air forming underneath. But let's see what happens. You ready? Here we go. One, two. Lots of sparks coming off there. Oh, there it goes. Just like that. Now, if we had a lot of kindling, of course, we'd be throwing that on top. We have a fire going in no time. How about that? Being prepared is knowing the right tool for the right situation. There's nothing wrong with your average Bic lighter because I could lit that piece of paper up in no time at all. You have your steel inside there. You have a flint which in this case takes the place of the magnesium, and you have a propellant, in this case, butane, which makes a flame. Basic lighter, being prepared, makes sense, why not? 